because we fundamentally have to innovate our way out of this problem. I'm going to create a market for something called direct air capture, which are machines that actually take carbon out of the atmosphere. Sure. Exactly. Is it is it feasible? Yeah. So I, it turns out from what I have read, if you want to remove carbon from the air that we have put in, the energy requirement to do that, you're going to ask, well, we're going to get the energy. Yeah, to that do makes that. sense. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. And if you're doing it, you know, you know, you're going to burn oil to capture the carbon. Right. So if you're doing it with solar power mm -hmm. or something that does not have a carbon footprint, then you could have used that for your energy in the first place. Gotcha. Right. Why? Right. So, so these are some of the challenges the you know that will confront us as we move forward. All but right. it'd be great if we can have some way to just dump the stuff back into the back into the ground. Limestone is sequestered carbon, basically. Right. right. And so, but that involved life forming it. So, if you could do that, yeah, burn away. You know, burn, baby, burn. <laughs> if you can bury it, if but you can we, bury it. we're not there yet. Right, we're not, we're no, okay, right. We don't have that much power over geoengineering to turn that into a thing. So really, the, 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 the better solution is switching than trying to deal with continuing to burn and bury. Right, it's like, uh, oh, what's the solution to acid rain? Let's all carry... Let's acid all carry acid for umbrellas, <laughs> right. <laughs> right? Let's all coat everything in an acid-proof um, <laughs> layer of some type of yeah. yeah. It just depends on how you're thinking about solving a problem, right? That's all. Okay, gotcha.